Hey there, so I'm headed back out this afternoon for a midweek hunt at my Crippleman ground blind setup. Um, I was actually out this morning. I got here before dark. We had a nice front that came in early this morning, and so I thought it would be a good opportunity. The wind was perfect, so um, I actually came out and set for just a few minutes and then had a friend and a customer of mine that wanted me to go ride with him, so I went ahead and got out of the blind, left most of my gear in there. We took care of our business, and then uh, he had me back here uh, pretty early this afternoon, so it's about 5 o'clock right now. So I'm going to go get set up and see if I can get a doe on the ground uh, going into quiet mode. I think I made a good shot on her. Um, I couldn't really see where that arrow hit though because I'm not using a lighted knock. Oh man. I feel pretty good about it, but um, I'm gonna give her a little bit and then I'm gonna go check that arrow and see what kind of blood I got around the site and then uh, probably back out and go check the video. See if I can tell a little bit better where that arrow hit before I start taking up the tracking job. I've got a buddy of mine that's got a dog, so I may give him a call. But I feel pretty good about the shot, but we'll see how it goes. All right, so I shot a doe, and I hit it right behind the shoulder. Um, but as I look at it on here, you can see it, it hit right in behind the shoulder there. You'll see it better on the video. Um, but she was quartering away, and so um, I'm worried that it hit obviously farther forward than what I needed to um, to get a classic double lung quarter and away shot. So I'm pretty sure I at least clipped a lung, um, probably exited the offside in front of the offside shoulder. Uh, maybe it clipped an artery there. Probably right at 30 minutes now since I shot her. And uh, I think the best course of action is to give her at least another 30 minutes, maybe a little bit longer. Y'all pray for good luck on this one. Um, feel pretty confident in it, but not completely confident. So. Anyway, we'll see where it goes. All right, sorry for the low light, but um, so she's opened up pretty good. Um, I'm on a trail. Um, she's bleeding really good. So I um, want to check in before it gets completely dark. I'm going to keep kind of following this blood trail. I feel pretty confident now that I'll find her. Um, but again, I wanted to check in before it got too dark. <clears throat> I'll check back in on the other side here. All right, so that turned out to be a lot tougher than what I expected it to be. Um, last time I left you, uh, we were on really good blood. Um, I tracked it. It was a stand-up walking blood trail, probably for 75 or 80 yards. We came up to a real thick area, and, uh, and it really kind of lost it. So I came back here to the house. Um, I got the dogs. They're not tracking dogs, but I figured more noses in the woods, more eyes, um, the better. But anyway, so we went kind of back into the thicket. Uh, we just kind of started grid searching, or I started grid searching. The dogs were kind of running back and forth, and I heard them jump something. And so I went back over there, and sure enough, um, found blood, um, and apparently it reopened up whatever injury that she had. Followed it back to the creek. Um, I was afraid that once she got back down to where the creek is at the border of the property, she'd go down in the creek and then kind of run through the water, and I'd lose the trail. Um, but fortunately, she got down to the bottom of the creek and then uh, kind of took off to the left, and... Um, I kind of shine my light down the creek and both dogs were standing in the same spot and I figured that there's no reason they'd be standing there unless they found something. So I walked back over where they are. Sure enough, she was there. She wasn't dead, but she was um, all but. Um, in fact, I, I grabbed her leg and didn't realize she was dead until I felt her move a little bit. So I went ahead and finished her off, um, got her taken care of. The toughest part was dragging her back out of the creek. Um, I have my rubber boots on, had a pretty steep bank I had to drag back out of, but we got it done. Went and got the pickup, loaded her up. First deer with the uh, Traverse, um, first 
deer this season. I'm real excited about it. Big, uh, nice, mature doe on a real small piece of property here next to the house. And so the only time you can shoot does is during the archery only season. So we got a month to get it done. So now that I've got that done, I can kind of concentrate elsewhere. So real excited about this first deer of the season. Here we go. You can see it went in right behind that shoulder and then actually came up right above her neck. Um, so I think I probably got a single lung shot. Um, didn't clip anything. Uh, probably cut an, an artery in there. She eventually would have bled out. Um, but we, we probably pushed her more than what we should have. But we got her, and that's the important part. So first one of the season.